Betzalel ben Abraham Ashkenazi, Hebrew, circa 1520 to circa 1592, was a rabbi and Talmudist who lived in Ottoman Palestine during the 16th century. He is best known as the author of Shittim Akobetzit, a commentary on the Talmud. He is very straightforward in his writings and occasionally offers textual amendments to the Talmud. His most important disciple was the famous Kabbalist, Rabbi Isaac Luria. Biography Ashkenazi was one of the leading Oriental Talmudists and rabbis of his day. He was probably born in Palestine. Citation needed, descended from a family of German scholars, the greater part of his life was spent in Egypt where he received his Talmudic education from David ben Solomon ibn Abi Zimro and Israel de Curiel. During the lifetime of his teachers, Ashkenazi was regarded as one of the highest authorities in the Orient, and he counted among his pupils such men as Isaac Luria and Solomon Adoni. The reputation of Ashkenazi in Egypt was so great that he could take it upon himself to abrogate the dignity of the Najid, which had existed for centuries and had gradually deteriorated into an arbitrary aristocratic privilege. When, in 1587, a dispute occurred in Jerusalem over the point whether scholars not engaged in business should contribute to the taxes paid by the Jewish community to the Pasha, and to what extent, Ashkenazi, together with several other rabbis, took the stand that Jewish scholars, being usually impelled by love alone to emigrate to Palestine, and being scarcely able to support themselves, should be relieved from all taxes. In the same year, Ashkenazi himself traveled to Palestine and settled in Jerusalem, where he was recognized as their chief by both the Sephardim and the Ashkenazim. The conditions in Jerusalem were at this time very critical, and it was mainly due to Ashkenazi's influence that the congregations of the city were not dissolved. The German Jews, who ordinarily did not recognize the jurisdiction of the Sephardim, and who, being largely scholars, refused to pay the Jews tax, nevertheless bowed to Ashkenazi's authority. The Ashkenazim had to contribute to the Jews tax one-sixth of the sum that was sent from Europe for their support, see Halakha, otherwise the Sephardim, who were on the verge of penury, could not have remained in Jerusalem under the merciless exploitation of the Turkish Pashas. This peaceable arrangement between the Ashkenazim and the Sephardim was due solely to the personal influence of Ashkenazi. For immediately upon his death the Ashkenazim refused to keep their pledge. Shittim Akubazay To posterity Ashkenazi is known principally as the author of the Shittim Akubazay, trans. Gathered Interpretation. This work, as its title indicates, is a collection of glosses on the greater part of the Talmud, after the fashion of the Tosafot, and in it Ashkenazi combined much original and foreign material. The great value of the Shitta lies principally in the fact that it contains numerous excerpts from Talmudic commentaries which have not otherwise been preserved. The Shitta contains expositions of the Talmud taken from the works of the Spaniards Nominides, Ben Adre, and Yom Tov of Seville, and from those of the Frenchman Abraham Ben David, Baruch Ben Samuel, Isaac of Shino, etc. The study of the Shitta is particularly valuable for understanding the Tosafists, because the work contains some of the older and unedited Tosafot. Besides, Glosses of R. Asher ben Yehiel and of the disciples of R. Perez are partly contained in it. Ashkenazi designed the Shitta to cover the whole Talmud, but only the following tracts were interpreted, Beza, Baba Kama, Baba Batra, Baba Metsia, Ketabat, Nadarim, Nazir, Soda, and the Order of Kodashim, excepting Hulan, the last mentioned in the Ram edition of the Talmud. Ashkenazi is also the author of a collection of responsa, which appeared after his death, Venice, 1595. His methodology of the Talmud, and his marginal notes to the Yerush Almi, which were still extant at the time of Azali, are preserved in manuscript at Jerusalem.